Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And this is a follow-up to the last episode where I went school supply shopping at, at a few of the big stores uh, here in my area. And uh, you know what? I'm not surprised that a lot of you love school supply season as much or more than I do. And um, so we're kindred spirits there. And a lot of people uh, ha asked me uh, after that episode, they really wanted to see some of these store branded uh, items in action. So this video is a follow up to that, where we're gonna kind of compare and contrast the four pencils from the four different stores that I bought things from, as well as I bought a couple of store branded erasers. Um, I bought these white erasers from Meyer, and I'm looking at my receipt to make sure I say it right. The four pack was 79 cents. I bought this fun rainbow pen and gear eraser uh, from Walmart, 20 cents is how much that was. Pen and Gear pencils were from Walmart, 48 cents. Um, let's see, these Up and Up pencils from Target, or Target as we call it here, um, 50 cents. These Wow Office Work pencils from Kroger. These were 50 cents. And the eight pack of number two pencils from Meyer were 49 cents. Big spender I am, huh? Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna get these pencils out, see how they do. Um, I've done the pen and gear pencils on this channel before of a review, but I did buy another box yesterday, so we need to keep those in the mix. And then um, we'll use these erasers too. Okay, here we go with the uh, pencil comparison. First of all, let's say up front, these are all hexagonal pencils, every one of them. Okay, they're all hex. Uh, and just a feel, they're all a rather soft-sided hex, nothing too sharp. Um, but uh, they are all hexagonal. They all have uh, ferrules. Uh, the ferrules of these three here, the Pen and Gear, the Up and Up, and the Meyer brand actually all look to be identical. And then the Office Works pencil uh, has is, is a shorter, actually a smaller ferrule, um, and it is a bright, brassy, gold tone. Um, but they all have pink erasers. The ferrules are all crimped on, the erasers are all crimped on. Okay, uh, again, Pen and Gear, Walmart, made in India. Up and Up, Target, made in Indonesia. Um, Meyer brand, uh, made in Vietnam. And Office Works, made in China. They're all graded, number two HB. Um, you can see there is a slight uh, marginal difference. Uh, the Office Works and the Up and Up are virtually identical in color. Uh, these two are lighter a little bit, uh, more yellow than gold. Uh, if we look uh, down, let's focus in here. 
if we kind of look down on the pencils, uh, I think you'll see that, you know, all the cores appear to be uh, the same size in terms of their circumference um, for the most part. This one may be a tad larger. This is the Kroger Office Works pencil. Um, they are all wood. The, which one is this? The pen and gear is slightly, and I mean slightly, maybe a millimeter longer than the other three, for whatever reason, this one. Um, and, uh, but the cores are fairly centered, so um, I guess that's good. I'm going to sharpen all four of these. I'll report back on how they do, and we can commence writing. Oh, on the erasers, the, um, the pen and gear is made in India, and the Meyer, whoop, sorry, I'm out of focus here. And the, the pen and gear is made in India. The Meyer white eraser is made in China. So we'll uh, get those unwrapped so we can erase with them and see how they perform. Okay, I've got the uh, four store brand pencils sharpened. They all sharpened. Uh, I sharpened them in my electric pencil sharpener. They all sharpened fairly easily and without incident. Um, so just from the sharpening standpoint, and I didn't try sharpening them on anything else other than the electric, they sharpen fine. So no, no issues there. Uh, we're going to start with the pen and gear. So pen and gear, number two from Walmart. And this was 48 cents for 12 pencils. Okay. Um, these are made. Let me come in a little bit. In India. Um, <clears throat> They perhaps are made by the Hindustan Pencil Company in India. Um, they are fairly dark. They are actually smooth. And perhaps you can tell they are quiet. Um, we will put a little bit down here. And um, not too smudgy. Let me go at it again. There is a little bit of a smudge drag, pretty typical of a of a number two. And um, they do come with an eraser, so let's try that. This is the attached eraser. Yeah, not great. And I think look at the look at this. A lot of pilling. You know, not a great eraser. Um, but we're gonna try while we're on the subject of erasers. Uh, I'm gonna try this white eraser from Meyer. And um, this was wrapped in cellophane, by the way, so they're in a blister pack, but they are individually wrapped. Let's see how it does. Well, I don't know that it does a whole lot better, maybe marginally, I guess so, better than the attached eraser. There's the attached, you can see a little bit more shadowing. There's the Meyer. Um, I have other e white erasers that do a much better job. Now, boy, this is a big eraser, this pen and gear rainbow. Um, 
it is fairly soft. But you know what? It just mushes. This is a this is an eraser that is cooler looking than it is functional, unfortunately. I really wanted this. This is so fun. I really wanted this rainbow or maybe pride, I don't know if that, but it, I wanted this to, to really work well and it doesn't. And you can see it just, it just mushes and, and kind of curls at the end. Now I'm going to try, let me try a Pentel eraser here and another, what else do we have? We got a Mars, Let me try some other ones. Um, those actually do a fairly better job. So it's an erasable pencil, just not with the, not, not so much with the attached eraser or either of the cheap erasers I bought uh, at the store. Uh, so, erasability, I'll give it a B, B minus. It's okay. All right. But in terms of writing, experience, okay, 48 cents. Um, 12 pencils, that's a four cent pencil, okay? Four cents, four pennies. Uh, for what you get in a writing experience for a four cent pencil, um, you know, I would say it's good plus. Okay, that's our pen and gear. Let's try um, the up and up pencil next. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the up and up number two from Target. And this was Fifty cents. Four, eight pencils. So, okay, you know about eight, 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 a little more than eight cents each. So double the price of the Walmart pencils, but uh, these are made in Indonesia, um, I would say that these are a fairly dark line. Um, Smooth-ish. They have a bit of scratch. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they write okay. Um, I don't know if we, yeah, I mean a slight, compared to the pen and gear, uh, slightly a little bit more of a drag on the paper but uh, not bad not where I feel like uh, it's not performing well or in any way uh, encumbering the movement of the pencil 
on the paper. So let's let's smudge test the the up and up. Okay, again, not a big smudge drag there. We've got an attached eraser, which we'll try. Okay, uh, it doesn't pill the way that the um, pen and gear eraser pilled, so I'll give it a, a better mark there. Again, it's not a great eraser. I still want these cheap erasers I bought to be good ones. Here's the Meyer White, not great. Oh, our pen and gear rainbow. This eraser is just too soft. It's too soft. Uh, it's too gummy, and uh, it's not doing doing a great job. But if we try some of our other erasers, like the Pentel, that takes it off pretty well. Mars. Um, how about a pink eraser? It's a pink carnation. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, uh, I think that's pretty clean. Yeah. So, I will say erasability, I'll give it a B. And writing experience, uh, good overall. Okay, you know a decent, a decent pencil. All right, that is our uh, uh, what do you call it? Our um, our target up and up pencil here. Um, and I said it was eight cents, and you know what? I didn't do the math right. Because 8 times 8 is 64, so I'm sorry. Uh, more like 5, 5.2 cents. So uh, still a little more than the Walmart pencil, but a pretty good value. Let's go to our Meyer pencil next. Now this doesn't have a, it's just Meyer. It doesn't, it's not a pen and gear up and up. It doesn't have a a model name or anything like that. It's just a Meyer pencil. So this is a Meyer number two pencil. And this was 49 cents. Okay. For eight pencils. So again, whoop, a little more than five cents uh, per pencil. Had a little break there. Uh, these are made in uh, Vietnam. And they are a little bit lighter. Slightly waxy not not terribly but they feel a little uh, harder um, they're fairly quiet Just at Myers. Okay, let's try this.
All right, there we go. Now, get the eraser going here. Hey, you know what? That might be, <laughs> so far, the best attached eraser yet. Okay? Um, I don't think I like the, f the way, I don't like the feel of the core as much as the um, previous two pencils, but boy, hey, that eraser, not too shabby. Okay, there's our Meyer. I don't know why I keep trying this, but I'm gonna be consistent here. Give it a, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Again, it was only 20 cents, but doesn't do a great job. Um, I mean, it does, it, it, it erases enough, you can call it an eraser, but it's not, not great. Uh, huh. Can tell. Mars. Pink carnation. What else? Oh, I got a magic rub here. Okay. So, uh, I think from an erasability standpoint, it does okay. I'll give it a B. And writing experience. Um, and it's not bad. Uh, I'll give it a good minus. Okay, we'll do that. And then last, and we don't know if it's least, is the Office Works pencil from Kroger. So, well, I guess it's Wow Office Works. This is made in China. This was 50 cents for 10. So five cents a pencil. So these are all pretty much in the same price range. Between four and, you know, about maybe five and a half cents a pencil. Um, these are made in China. Uh, this lead broke. I'm going to try to point back on it here. Um, it has a, it's a dark line. Um, it is a little scratchy. A little waxy. Uh, you can probably hear it. Mm, I think I like the Meyer pencil a little bit more um, than this so far. But let's put a little of this down here. OK. 
Okay. Uh, let's see how this one erases. The, the attached eraser is very loose in the ferrule. Very loose. You can see it really bends. Um, it's loose and it pills like crazy. And as a matter of fact, in closer inspection, the eraser just from that little bit is starting to tear and split um, there right at the top of the, the ferrule. So that's not good. Okay, so a really crummy eraser. The Meyer eraser performs a bit better than the uh, attached eraser, but not great. Oh, our, our big rainbow here Yeah, not great and really, really um, kind of flabby. Can I say that about an eraser? Uh, uh, the, it just, it just, it's just too soft and it just kind of crinkles and pills and doesn't erase, uh, you know, really in any, it, it's not a great eraser. Okay, but let's try some of our eraser box standards here. Pentel, good. Uh, here's a Mars. Okay. Pink Carnation. Um, magic rub. Okay, well, um, varying degrees here. So, uh, raceability, uh, I'm going to give it a B minus C plus for writing experience. I'm going to give it an OK, which would be a little step below good. Um, so uh, actually, not not intentionally, but in order of what I think is um, the best writing experience, uh, we'll have we we actually go in order of uh, of how I tried them. Uh, I would say that the pen and gear um, from India gave the best writing experience. The up and up target. In, from Indonesia, second best. The Meyer from Vietnam uh, gave the third best, but had the best eraser. If you could put this eraser, what do some people do? Wait, they call them hack wings, right? Where they put the black ring uh, ferrule on other pencils. If you could take this eraser and put it on this pencil, because this is really a crummy eraser on the pen and gear, you would have a sensation, you would have a four cent pencil that would rock. Um, but, you know, my mom always said you gotta take the good with the bad. So number three is Meyer. And then uh, in last place, in terms of my own personal preference, would be the Office Works pencil made in China from Kroger. I cannot really recommend, unfortunately, either of either the Meyer white eraser um, or this this fabulous looking pen and gear rainbow eraser.
Um, they're not great erasers, unfortunately. So <coughs> when it comes to that, we'll, I guess we'll stick to the ones that we, we know um, and the national brands. I, um, I did buy some Ticonderoga erasers, uh, pink erasers, um, and, uh, but those are a national brand, so the, the, I'll do that as a separate kind of review. Um, so there it is. Thank you for hanging out with me um, and taking a look at these four store brand pencils. And from a value sta standpoint, there are a couple of them, the, the, the pen and gear and the up and up, you know, gosh, uh, both decent pencils, you know, for general school use, office use, um, uh, really for the price, um, you know, it's not going to provide, it's not going to give you a transformative writing experience, but but you know they're 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 pretty comfortable and and decent enough pencils to use um, for things. So yeah, and thank you. Hope you had fun watching. Please share, like, subscribe if you're into what I do here, and uh, we'll see you again real soon on Always Analog.